So some of you know that recently I just lost a litter and there was another French Bulldog breeder in the community that um, let me borrow her, her incubator. And after using her incubator, I realized how simple it would be to make one. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to try to make my own incubator. So this is my assistant. Yeah. AKA her son. Okay. So the first thing I bought was uh, a plastic storage box. Look, we're about to get it out. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. We just unboxed it. We're looking inside. Look at it. I don't know what is this. What is this, Mom? It's a pretty nice size. Yep. And got these things. It's so like manageable to hold. What are these? These are the clip. It comes with little wheels. Damn. And these are the clips to plant the scan. Ooh, the little, 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 little wheel. How do we clip these wheels? No, I'm not going to put the wheels. I don't need it to wheel it on. Oh, and I then... Alright. So far, so good. Yep. Ready, guys? <laughs> Wait. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Oh wait, this was the remote to the thingy, right? Yeah. So I got the same one. Um, yeah. So this right here is Inkbird. It controls the heating or cooling and the cooling system. Yeah. So we're gonna Which attach this cool. to the. Yeah. Look. The plastic fan. So we got this fan that we're going to be installing in the back. Yep. It's an AC Infinity fan. Mm -hmm. They usually use these on computers, but this is going to take out the, well, it's going to cool down and keep them cool when it gets too hot. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a part of the cooling system. All right, so this is to hook up the heat lamp, mm -hmm. and I got the nano lamp the nano heat lamp. the red bulb instead of the white bulb and then instead of the white bulb i got led light so when i need to light it up oh that's cool then oh, i should be able to see it and it comes with a remote i bought an extra reptile thermometer just in case oh just for like a double check because the the inkboard sensor just it tells you the the heat it has its own sensor but just as a backup we have a reptile small thermometer to stick on the back we got this humidifier this is from let me see it's from ac infinity as well this is from ac infinity i don't know if you can see it ac infinity and I got this one. This one's a little bit more pricier, but I got this one because it comes with its own sensor. So they usually have these sensors for humidity, but instead of getting another one of these, I just got this humidifier because it comes with its own sensor. So that way we'll be able to read it here on the screen. I got this soldering tool because I didn't want to saw the plastic and risk the plastic like cracking. And completely breaking so I figured it would be easier to melt or cut heat cut I don't know how to say this cut it with heat yeah yeah so I got the soldering tool so that I could make the holes and install everything and we plan to screw mm -hmm. some of these mm -hmm. things like like, these. like this mm -hmm. we'll screw it in and so let's get started with that so i removed the lid and what i'm gonna do is 
cut a hole in the center here to install the light. So I think that's what I'm going to do first. Try out installing the heat lamp. So you can see this is smoking from the... Uh, burning sensation. Yeah, burning the plastic pretty yeah. much. But I'm trying to do it really so. Yeah, and I'm Until scared. I get this completely off. So we successfully made a hole in the middle. This particular light bulb comes with these rings that's going to go one on each side and then it's going to screw in with this. So we got that. This is what it looks like right now. Let me get the light bulb to test it out. Okay, let's go. Looks creepy. This is a 25 watt. I got a small one because... 25 out. 24 hour heat yeah. so 25 watt to see if um so it doesn't overheat them or over bake them so let's see did it work yep it's on oh that's super cool leds they come with their own stickers so i just stuck it on here here's the remote and you see easy okay so we did Four little holes and the fan's gonna go here so I'm gonna go screw that on and I'll be right back I have officially finished the whole entire thing so LED lights are on red light is on we can easily shut it off with the remote for the night time or when we don't need the light have the little internal monitor right there to tell me the temperature and the humidity fan is back here we have this that is also reading the temperature we have another hole here for the humidity the humidifier is in here And this is what the back looks like. So this is controlling the heat. It's at 80 degrees right now. It's supposed to go up to 87. So I'm just going to run it through tonight to make sure that this works. Fan's not on, but as soon as the temperature goes higher than it needs to be, the light should shut off and the fan should kick in. So that's why we're going to leave it on and make sure that this is working properly. But so far, so good. Well, I left this on all night long, and the temperature stood at a good 85. So with the 50 bulb watt, I think this would be perfect if you wanted to keep the temperature between 80 and 85 around there. If you need the temperature to be higher in the 90s, I would suggest getting a different bulb with a higher wattage, maybe a 50 watt, and it should bring this here into the 90s. With puppies that are battling viruses is what I would use the larger watts for because usually you, um, they need extra heat, but 80, 85, up to 88 it's comfortable for puppies so I'm gonna leave this light bulb here for now and I'll just get an extra one if puppies ever needed more heat 